what we have from our online family. MashaAllah everybody posting and putting out the videos, putting out the from the charity sites. For our video people we need some people who don't make their appearance to look too Naqshbandi but the style of video when somebody's commentating on a video. Have you seen where they put their face and they say, I don't know, I, you can't lie, you can't say, have you heard this man? And then they go like this, like, what's this, what's this? Yeah, if people whom are clever with video editing, if they can take the videos of the talk and then put themselves in the front describing what is, what is he saying, what is this, what is this, what is this and pointing out things that are happening in the world. They get a lot more play because they throttle our videos. When they see our videos come out they try to slow it down because uh, Hezbo Shaitan. So we try to come around it where the person doesn't have to look so Naqshbandi but say, have you heard this man? What is he saying? What is this? What is this? So new forms of videos inshaAllah for our guys who are editing and taking out now apps that can edit the different videos and they can take a one hour video and break it into 50 different three minute clips. Yeah amazing technologies now so we got to keep on, on top of the curve, the curve inshaAllah. What do we have from online inshaAllah? As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum Salaam wa Rahmatullah Two similar questions. If we have low iron in our blood medically, does that mean we have weak juzba mag magnetism? And also, <laughs> would it be necessary or beneficial to supplement with iron supplements to improve <coughs> magnetism? <coughs> the level of iron, again, you have to ask your doctors, it's essential in our lives. So it's essential for your oxygen, essential for your health, so it's a, it's a body necessity. But the, the juzba doesn't require the, the whole force of that but you may have a hard time meditating because you get tired, you, you, all sorts of different secondary conditions may be as a result of low iron. But the eating of dates, moringa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nur John. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Powder is very powerful, sort of 10 times the amount of iron than other supplements. But definitely understand the importance of iron, the importance of clean blood, that to make sure the blood is clean, what we eat and drink affects the, the clarity and the cleanliness of the blood because Prophet taught to us the shaitan runs through the blood. So now we see that it's going to affect our juzbah because shaitan is running in the blood. So if people are eating bad things. And shaitan is infested within their blood systems and then they email Shaykh Ali, I just can't connect. There's a reason you can't connect because the negative energy that running through the system is affecting. So imagine then the level of purity for the blood that once you begin to meditate and do your muraqabah how much you're energizing that blood and how the blood and the breath and the heart are all connected. Your breath actually brings an energy onto your blood puts it into your heart, stamps it with zikr and then dresses all of the organs of the body. So we have articles on the website, the physiology of, of you know your breathing and your blood and your heart. 
The breath is immensely important in the energizing of the body and that blood its movement is based on the breath. So when the breath comes in with a positive energy it's stamping the blood through the lungs into the heart. From the heart it stamps with dhikrullah. If the person's making dhikr the heart stamps that blood and as a result goes to the organs pure and purified. Then that servant has a tremendous energy running through their blood fighting shaitan. So that's all from the muraqabah and from breathing and doing their dhikr and being conscious of that. So if they really want to fight shaitan they have to fight shaitan inside. But Hizb shaitan people they think they're going to fight shaitan outside. So they go to the mosque and they pray very funny like they're doing jumping jacks. Have you seen them? They, they put their toes together and they pray with their feet very widely stretched and they think they're fighting shaitan with their toes. But shaitan already inside of the person wreaking havoc. So before you put your toes on other people fight the shaitan inside of you, inshaAllah. If you haven't experienced that you're lucky. <laughs> As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah Is this the reason why sometimes people who do not know each other repel one another? Sure, because we, uh, we have familiarity is also the, the opposite of that. That you feel yourself attracted to somebody and to teachings, why? Because there's a familiarity in the magnet. Those whom love Prophet they love whom love Prophet because their heart already is magnetized in that direction. Those whom don't have a love for Sayyidina Muhammad for whatever nefarious reasons they're actually very repelled by the Muhammadan energy. They push back, why you have to look like that, there's something in them is very fearful of that energy. We just passed now Friday the 13th and the, all, all the masons spread that stuff. Oh Friday is very bad, Friday 13th is very bad, don't make any buildings on 13th floor. 13 in abjad is the meme and the meme is the key of all realities. Baina Ahad wa Ahmad is meme and all this creation is in an ocean of meme. Because it's in Muhammadun Rasulullah So yes I can imagine they don't like meme, they don't like 13, they don't like 13th floor, they don't like Friday our holiest day with the power of 13. They find it to be very unfortunate because it is a time of truth. It represents the truth of the heaven, the, the nation that's on truth and everything else now is false. And as it shows itself to be false. As Salaamu Alaikum Shaykh Walaykum As Salaam wa Uh We really enjoy your lectures, it's very enlightening. May Allah help us increase your. May Allah help increase your darajah, but please Thank you. Sayyidi we have a question. What are yes. the ways to know whether a person is being attacked by witchcraft and how to get rid of it? <clears throat> you, you would know, those are one of those questions that, that you would know. You would know if, if witchcraft is attacking you because it, it's not something subtle. And they're not shy of, of making themselves known. So those are you know very, very hard, hard difficulties. So the rest is cultural where if your business is bad you say it's witchcraft or maybe just you're a bad business person. You, you don't do good in school you say it was again witchcraft. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then you didn't want to study. <laughs> so it, it becomes a cultural thing where everything you can blame on witchcraft and the jinn, these poor jinns because some of them very mu'min and believing and they get a lot of uh, bad credit for all of these things that are happening. So the tariqah comes not to focus on that, that get the meditation book, go to the articles on the website if you can't get the book, the articles are there for free and learn how to do the connection. That's the most important. Instead of worrying about the problem, focus only on your solution in life. You know this is a, a different type of philosophy is that they want to focus on a problem and they want to go somewhere to talk about the problem and this is satanic. Why? Because you have the power to manifest. If you sit with enough people talking about your problem you actually have a power from Allah to manifest the problem. So if you go around to everything's very bad, everything very gloomy, everything very doomy, you have a power and shaitan knows that. That's why he enforces you push and talk about it to everybody. Before you know it, kun fayakun there's a storm over your head always with you. So you think negative, you will manifest negative, this is a power. So what Prophet wanted for us, think good, focus on the remedy in life that all is powerful, I have to connect, I have to have my love for Prophet I want to learn how to do the muraqabah and connect my heart with the shaykhs, I want these knowledges, that's it. Why think of anything negative? Think of all of the positive things that you can be doing, go out do khidmat, do a service, Allah is great. There is no power close to the power of Allah Everything else is garbage. So the other cousins, all their churches show their Prophet beaten up because it's instilled within their culture to fear the devil. Never in Islam, there's no fearing the devil. Allah has the power, Allah seek refuge in me from the cursed devil, don't play with him, don't focus on him, don't think of him, think of only Allah And how to bring Allah is with the love of Prophet So psychologically they have already been tormented and that's why shaitan played with their houses of worship and in their system of belief. But Islam because of the light and the love of Prophet that he is continuously with his nation, guiding his nation, directing his nation doesn't allow that. It stills within the heart of the nation that don't, don't even mention your shaitan, there's nothing, he's nothing. Focus on your solution in life, Allah is great. If things are not opening Allah wants something. Make your durood, make your salawats, that's it. So the tariqah comes and thinks of all of the different possibilities. So make the connection, make your durood sharif, your salawats so that you can draw near to Allah by your salawats. You want to be in the presence of Allah be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad most powerful divine the presence. Anyone wants to be with Allah sit in Medina to Munawwara. That's where Allah is, He said, I'm in the heart of my servant and the servant is lying right there. So you sit in Medina to Munawwara, you are sitting in the presence of Allah who's in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad That's why it's so much peace and tranquility. So this is the, the secret of the way inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah Alhamdulillah after taking notes of your teaching and understanding simple things as to why some have an exploding angry character, my bad character was gradually being reduced. I became lazy in certain practice such as tafakkur but always ensure I practice the daily awrad. I've again started tafakkur and also trying to repost short clips of videos to spread the knowledge on social media. But since I have increased the practices, I seem to have taken 10 steps back in dealing with anger 
and bad character and reacting, exploding like a switch. Astaghfirullah. Immediately after I have reacted, I regret the action but struggling to control the bad character. Yeah, because the fight is real. When you sit down, you sit on shaitan's bench. So as soon as you sit on the bench, he's giving you Gatorade, rubbing your shoulders, rest right here, don't worry about it. So everything's okay. As soon as you realize and spit on him and get back into the fight, well he's going to fight you. So that's how you know it's real. Either you're going to sit on the bench and have Gatorade with shaitan and he just give you like a massage and say, don't worry you sit right here and enjoy yourself or get up and fight. So you do your zikr, do your practices and get ready for your battle with shaitan. Nothing more motivating than watching the news. So watch the news and look what's happening, something coming for you. You're going to sit on the sidelines and be surprised or you want to build yourself, something's coming and this is all the teaching. So they have to build the temple, they have to destroy Al-Aqsa. These things are happening right now in the news. So if anybody needs any more motivation to build themselves, build their heart, make their connection with Prophet before they cut the internet, before they cut all these things and cast people into darkness, what do people want to wait for, inshaAllah. That's why we said, understand the kingdom of Sulaiman <clears throat> They're trying to rebuild it with a false light, LED lights. So the real light and the real kingdom is important. And to whom owns this kingdom and belongs to this kingdom is Sayyidina Muhammad And even that they'll try to take away from people, inshaAllah. Allah well, keep us safe inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam Wa Rahmatullah Sayyidi, how to remove the energy that goes out from our bad words and is still moving forever? Put out good energy, good deeds. We gave that in the talks of charity. Charity wipes out the sins of people. I think it was in the month of Rajab, Surat al Munafiqeen. In Allah's month of Rajab, where light is coming into existence in the secret of Rajab, Allah gives us Surat al Munafiqeen. And the verse was about the servant, asked Allah that, I want to go back. He dies, goes towards Divinely Presence and asks Allah give me a, a moment to go back so that I can give everything of my sustenance away to become from Salihin. He didn't ask, Ya Rabbi let me go back so I can do a couple more hajj. Let me go back and, and, and finish my different salahs and make up the salah of my lives that I, I missed. But what Allah Allah's drawing our attention to this servant and this, this understanding is the servant asks, Ya Rabbi give me a moment just to go back and give everything away to join and to become from the righteous servants of yours. Means the importance of giving and charity that takes away our bad character, takes away our sayyat and gives us immense amount of hasanat because the game is rigged in our favour. Sayyat and sin is one, hasanat is ten. So those who take a accounting every night, they know the sins they've done, they should account for it. And said, I did these ten things bad tonight. I talk these bad, bad words tonight, give your sadaqah before you sleep. That each sadaqah they give 
is giving 10 hasanats to them. So it means then you keep your accounting, keep your, your system so that you sleep every night in a positive account, not negative account. The one who doesn't watch his bank and doesn't watch his system, somebody's stealing it. This is for dunya. Right? If you don't ever look at your bank statement, you don't know that the guy from this uh, fast food place he's taking ten dollars every day and you don't know it. So you go through your statement and say, Who's, whose charges are these? So that's for dunya. Imagine then the spiritual person who doesn't take an account of themselves that you know every night they're sleeping bankrupt. They did so much more bad than they did good and every night worse, worse, worse. Oh by the end of a month your account is completely bankrupt and nothing. Then they wonder why they have sins, why they have bad, bad events happening to them. So then our life is about keeping a hisab and an accounting of myself. That I did good, I did this charity, I went to here, I prayed my prayers, I did this and this and this and they take their hisab. And that they, they pray that every night they did better than they did worse inshaAllah. Then they begin to feel the growth and their spiritual growth because every night they're blossoming and doing better inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Shaykh Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Are we still in the circle of love of our parents if they pass away? What happens in terms of energy change when parents pass away? You have the energy book and the meditation book, what's the difference? That piety is the whole understanding of the meditation and the madad. Now whether it's the shaykh or the parents, what would be the difference? Means that which you establish out of righteousness and love, it's eternal. So the love that we establish, the relationship we establish, the energies that we establish is eternal. And if it's out of piety and righteousness that means they believe in the Divine, that their light is, is of a beatific nature and it's free from the difficulty of the grave, well then that light is a luminous light always around those whom love them, you'll be with whom you love. So righteous parents, righteous grandparents, their souls are always around praying for those whom love them and they love them. So no doubt this is the whole teaching of the shaykhs. So we keep ourselves around those whom Allah loves, Nabiin, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin and Allah's with them. So when we love them, remember them, do, do good deeds in their names then they're always around us dressing us and blessing us. When you do a good deed for somebody pious or even somebody in difficulty it dresses and blesses them. But when you do a good deed for somebody whom is pious they take your deed and ask Allah and pray for it at a higher level and that that rains down a barakah upon the servant because they're already in, in Allah's rahmah and mercy. So when you send something to somebody whom their accounts are full, they thank you and ask Allah to send from their blessings upon it back down to the servant because they remembered us from their earthly reality, Ya Rabbi let me to remember them from my paradise and heavenly realities. So this is the whole concept of remembering those whom we love and the fountain and the water fountain, always dressing the base of the, the fountain because it goes up and then comes back and dresses the whole base of that reality. So we're in need of people and people are in need of us, this is the love and the relationship of that love, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Sayyidi, where is the higher consciousness located and can the higher consciousness communicate with the lower consciousness without the body knowing? Sure. Higher consciousness is in Divinely Presence, in the Malakut. 
So the malakut is the reality in which Allah didn't give us all our light to come and destroy on this earth. <laughs> they gave but like a pinch of that light. The real light is always in the malakut, is in the presence. And in that presence it's receiving its faiz and its direction. We have a talk on that, on how to connect with your higher conscience and your reality. So we are the avatar and that one is the real one. But unfortunately we came onto this earth and our avatar took its own life and went its own direction. When in reality the avatar in this video game that we play on earth we were supposed to listen to the higher conscience and remind us, Allah sent you, you're supposed to do this, 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 this and then come back. And then we came onto earth and said, I don't uh, even know what you're talking about and then it became a rogue game where he's now running around doing whatever he wants. So the whole concept of the meditation and tafakkur is what? Is to connect back. You have to be able to slow down clear out the clouds that are blocking that connection, that's the purpose of the shaykh. Because the shaykh's energy is like the cable company. The energy that's coming when you connect with their soul, they're taking the two wires and connecting them so that you can receive your connection from your higher reality. Because what's been written for you is for you, Alam al-Qur'an khalaq al-insan. Alam al-Qur'an, Allah has taught your soul everything, then khalaq al-insan, then created you. So mean Allah taught everything to your reality, then created your physicality, then threw you onto this earth. But your reality is within you like a CD that you don't read and you can't pull out. But Allah then gave us, then follow the shiuks, follow the shaykhs their reality can teach you how to connect back to your reality and to achieve what Allah has set aside for you, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah Sayyidi, I have been failing the same test over and over again. I have a hard time controlling my tongue. I'm doing the practices, please help. Put a lollipop in your mouth, don't, don't talk, put something in your mouth. Your life is like a chess game, there's certain places you go and they trigger your, your, your inability to talk. So don't do the same thing expecting a different result. I mean so you go somewhere and we have a talk on that also, you go somewhere say, I know as soon as I go to this relative's house this one person the shaitan in them is going to now ask me why I look like this. And each time you go the same person has something from shaitan to deliver as a message. How many times do you want to engage in that? So you go ahead, so I'm going to make my wudu, I understand these people are going to ask these ridiculous questions, I'm going to put a lollipop in my mouth, enter into the house and smile at people and don't say a single word. Why you have to look like this? Alhamdulillah. And don't answer, don't engage shaitan. Not the person, the poor person is just a person. But you know the shaitan is behind them playing, why you have to do this, why you have to do this <laughs> and put your head down and do your zikr, it gets them even more annoyed. But stay quiet, stay quiet and eventually the person gives up and then shaitan comes through somebody else. And then you stay quiet and stay, so you have to understand the game. But the ego of people, no I'm going to change them and I'm going to make them now to believe and, and to also have a beard. No, that's not going to happen, that's, that's not the game that we're playing. Allah's practicing and teaching you, see if you can keep yourself quiet with shaitan. Don't engage with shaitan, you're not going to convert shaitan, inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, 
Our water well give the gift of life. Our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.